Hello everyone, you're very welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up automatic investments using two of the most popular brokerage platforms in Europe, Trade Republic and Trading212. I'm also going to be comparing these two platforms with one another on the basis of their automated investing functionality to help you decide which of these platforms is the best for automated investing. Automated investing is the long-term investor's best friend. It allows you to put your investments into the market on auto autopilot so that you can spend more time on the things that matter most to you. Contrary to popular belief, sensible investing doesn't involve analyzing stock charts or burying yourself in mountains of financial data. For 99.9% .9 of the population, it's about investing consistently in low-cost index-linked ETFs. And with that strategy, the less time you spend actively thinking about investing, the better. Automated investing can help you achieve that. For Furthermore, because your investments are happening automatically over time, it takes your mind and emotions out of the ongoing investment decision. In the words of Benjamin Graham, the investor's chief problem and even his worst enemy is likely to be himself. In other words, how our investments perform isn't as important as how we behave as investors. Detaching yourself from your investments and shedding any emotional attachment to your money that you may have is critical for investing investment success. This is especially true in times when the market is falling. But we're all human. We can all fall foul to the greatest hypocrisy in investing, which is buy when prices are rising and sell when prices are falling. By automating your investments, you're taking the decision out of investment decisions, and you're investing through good times and bad. If after watching this video, you want to set up your own automated investing plan, you can do so by trying out Trade Republic or trading 212 using the links in the video description. All right, let's kick things off with Trade Republic. Let's set up automatic investments into the Vanguard S&P 500 UCC ETF USD accumulating. To find the ETF on Trade Republic, click the search icon. We're going to be searching for this ETF using the ETF's International Securities Identification Number or ISIN, which is IE00BFMXXD54. You should always search search for ETFs using the ETF's ISIN, not the ticker symbol. Reason being, European ETFs can have multiple ticker symbols for different European exchanges, some of which may or may not be available on a given brokerage platform. While an ETF might have multiple ticker symbols, it will only have one ISIN, making the ISIN the most reliable search parameter for ETFs. Once we've found our ETF, we're going to click Create Savings Plan. The Savings Plan feature on Trade Republic represents the platform's automated investing functionality. The first thing you need to specify is how often you want to invest in the ETF. You can invest on a weekly, twice monthly, monthly or quarterly basis. I typically recommend sticking with monthly considering many investors will be receiving their paychecks on a monthly basis. This presents an opportunity to align your paycheck with your monthly investments. You then need to specify if you want to start your automatic investments at the beginning of the month or the middle of the month. For simplicity, I'd recommend investing from the beginning of the month. Trade Republic then asks you to specify the euro amount that you'll be investing every month into the Vanguard S&P 500 accumulating ETF. It's worthwhile noting that because you're specifying an exact euro amount, you're going to be partaking in fractional share investing, i.e. owning fractions of shares as opposed to whole shares. I'm going to specify a monthly investment of 200 euro. Once that's done, you just click create savings plan and you're you're finished. To view your savings plan, make your way to the order manager tab. In this tab, you'll see how many days are left until your next automated investment is executed, the investment that the savings plan refers to, and how much money will be needed to execute that investment. You need to have the required amount of money in your account on the day of execution in order for the transaction to go through. You don't need to have the money on the day that the savings plan is set up. So it's just a case of ensuring that you have enough cash deposited on Trader Republic every month for your savings plan order to be executed. You can delete your savings plan by clicking on it and hitting delete. As for fees, Trade Republic charges no fees for orders that are executed using the savings plan functionality. Next up is Trading212. Trading212 Trading212's automated investing functionality is called Pies, and with Pies, you can bundle a collection of stocks and ETFs into 
you one single investment which you can automatically invest money into on a recurring basis. To create your own pie, make your way to the portfolio screen, click on pies and click create pie. You'll then be prompted to add instruments to your pie. The biggest difference between Trading212 and Trade Republic for automated investing is that with Trading212, you can add multiple stocks and ETFs to one single automated pie. Whereas with Trade Republic, you need to create a new savings plan for each stock and ETF that you want to automate investments into. This is best illustrated by including two ETFs in our Trading212 pie. Like before, we'll include the Vanguard S&P 500 accumulating ETF by searching for its Eisen on Trading212. As you can see, Trading212 has returned three results for this ETF. This is because the ETF is available under different ticker symbols and on different exchanges. As a rule of thumb, you should always go with the option that is denominated in the same currency as your home currency. So for example, if you use the euro, you should select VUAA, which is traded on the Borsa Italiana Stock Exchange because those shares are quoted in euros. That way, you'll also avoid the 0.15% foreign currency translation fee that's charged by Trading212. You then simply click Add to Pi to add this ETF to your automated investing plan. When you do that, you'll see it appear down at the bottom of your screen. We're going to add one more ETF to our Pi. We'll go for the iShares Core MSCI Europe Uses ETF Euro Accumulating. The Eisen for this ETF is IE00B4K48X80, which will enter into the Trading212 search bar. I'm going to select the ticker symbol EUNK, which is traded on the Zetra stock exchange because those shares are quoted in euros. You then click add to pie and you'll see it appear alongside the Vanguard fund down at the bottom of the screen. Once you're happy with your investments, you simply click the blue arrow to proceed to the next step. At this stage, we need to specify the percentage allocation of each investment in the pie. This will influence how much money is allocated to each ETF when your automated investment is executed. The total percentage across all pie components must equal 100%. So, for example, if we keep this at 50-50, then a 200 euro monthly investment will result in 100 euro being invested in the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF and the other 100 euro being invested in the iShares MSCI Europe ETF. Next, you want to make sure that Auto Invest is selected. This will allow you to set an investment schedule and automate your deposits. Trading 2 and 2 will ask you how long you want the Auto Invest to run for. This can be set to a minimum of one year or a maximum of 40 years, though Auto Invest can be cancelled at any time. As you cycle through the options, the value projection graph will give you an updated estimation of your Pi value at the end of the period based on an estimate estimated annual return. You then select your investment frequency, which can either be daily, weekly, twice monthly, monthly, every two months, or every six months. If you select any of the monthly options, you'll be prompted to specify the exact date on which deposits should be made, which is handy for aligning your deposits with your monthly paycheck. Again, for simplicity, I'd recommend setting this to the first day of every month. Finally, you simply select the amount of money that you want to invest in your pie in this case on a monthly basis. Let's stick with 200 euro. You then name your Pi and click confirm. As for fees, Trading212 only charges a 0.15% foreign currency conversion charge. So provided you're investing in stocks and ETFs that are denominated in the same currency as your account currency, then there will be no fees charged. Now let's talk about which platform is best for automated investing, Trade Republic or Trading212. If we're assessing these platforms on the basis of functionality, and design, the winner is Trading212. The fact that you can include multiple stocks and ETFs in one single automated investing plan is extremely convenient. Not only is it convenient, but it's also very user intuitive. You can see straight away how your money is being allocated across the different stocks and ETFs in your pie, and you can control the weighting of those allocations on the fly. With Trade Republic, on the other hand, you have to create an individual savings plan for each investment, and 
because those savings plans aren't consolidated, it's harder to visualize your total investing activity across all savings plans. However, this only really matters if you're planning on automating investments into multiple stocks and ETFs. If your automated investments are confined to just one ETF or a small selection of ETFs, then the functionality differences between Trading212 and Trade Republic become less noticeable. However, even still, Trading212 does have the leg up on Trade Republic. That's before we consider the fact that Trading212 supports automatic recurring bank deposits, whereas Trade Republic requires users to manually deposit cash into their accounts. This means that Trading212 offers a much more automated experience than Trade Republic, given that Trade Republic users will need to ensure that they've manually deposited enough cash into their accounts every month. Otherwise, their savings plan won't be executed. Trading212 also allows users to copy pies that have been created by other Trading212 community members. So if we consider the end-to-end -end investment automation process on Trading212, as well as the additional community features that are embedded on the platform, it truly is one of, if not the best option for Europeans to automate their investments. However, Trade Republic does trump Trading212 in two respects. The first of which is investment selection. Over the past month or so, I've been releasing a series of videos talking about the best ETFs for European investors. What I've noticed from my research is that DeGiro and Trade Republic offer nearly all of the best ETFs for Europeans. Trading212 offers many of these ETFs, but not all of them. And at the end of the day, it's the investment, not the platform features, which matters most. So there's definitely something to be said for researching what stocks and ETFs you want to invest in first and let that guide your decision for choosing a brokerage platform. Some of you might be wondering why Book Zero hasn't been covered in this video because they too offer investment automation. The reason for this is because, in my opinion, Book Zero has dropped the ball with its ETF selection, and I believe it has become less of a competitive option for investors, especially when compared with the likes of Trading212 and Trade Republic. Not to mention that Book Zero charges a one euro fee for its investment automation services, whereas Trading212 and and Trade Republic charge no fees for investment automation. That brings me on to the second way in which Trade Republic trumps Trading212. While neither Trade Republic or Trading212 have fees or charges for investment automation, Trading212 does charge a 0.15% foreign currency translation charge. So if you're planning on automating investments into stocks and ETFs that are denominated in a currency that is different to your home currency, then Trade Republic could be a better play. So now that you know how to automate your investments as a European investor, you might want to get started with investing. If you don't have a brokerage account or you want to try out a new broker, you can sign up to Trade Republic or Trading212 using the links in the video description. Using these links supports me as a creator and lets me know that you found this video to be useful. What brokerage platform do you think is best for investment automation? Let me know in the comment section. You might be interested in this next video talking about the best S&P 500 ETFs for European investors. One of these could be a perfect addition to your automated investment plan. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.